Hi guys. All right. Underneath this video, Microsoft's new service agreement booted off internet for hate speech. I received a comment and I want to thank that commenter for leaving the link to this video, which I am posting for you guys who understand this stuff. Um, I have received a lot of comments from people saying go to Linux or go to Ubuntu. Well, this video was just posted two weeks ago and I am not sure because I've not done enough research to to know if Microsoft has now deeper influence in Linux but Microsoft bought its way onto the board onto the Linux board I'm sorry guys there is no way <laughs> not at this point to protect yourself from government. We have turned into a corporate tyranny. That is reality. So when I see people, and you know what? It kind of, oh, really upsets me when I see those that I have subscribed to for years and had, you know, quite a lot of respect and then I see them selling these software uh, products or, hey, buy this and, and you will protect yourself from government. Buy this and all of your information will be encrypted. Buy this and you will have privacy. No, privacy is gone. It's truly gone. And we all know that the NSA and other intelligence agencies have back doors into our computers. So those who say, oh, do this to encrypt all of your information? Do you really think that our intelligence agencies don't hire hackers to hack that encrypted information or encrypted code? If you don't, then I think you're naive. There is no way of getting around this at this point. So for those who are selling these products, well, I understand that you get money for it, but I hope that you rethink what you're doing. We have now giant corporations who are eating up all of the smaller companies. Google, Microsoft, uh, Facebook. Why? Well, they don't want competition. But if you think that these are private corporations, well, you just haven't done enough research on these corporations to see who was funding them, intelligence agencies, CIA, in, in uh, Q, Intel, Intel Q, I can't even remember. But it's the CIA. It's the NSA. They created the Internet to collect all of our information. Oh, they didn't just create the Internet so we could have fun here. So we could pass along pictures to one another on Facebook. They created this to collect and store every bit of information you put on the internet. So when somebody comes out with a software and says, hey, you can encrypt all of your information. You can protect yourself from the government. You can take back your privacy. Really? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> If they actually did create a software where you could protect yourself, it's going to be broken through. Now, Microsoft, a monopoly, a huge monopoly. Microsoft uh, has about 90% of all Internet users all over the world. 90% of those who access the Internet access it via Microsoft. We used to break up monopolies. Why do we let these monopolies get bigger and bigger and bigger? Because they're working with government. They are government. My God, all you have to do is do a little bit of research on Bill Gates and you will see how deranged and sick that guy is who's killing children all over the world with his vaccines. All right, that's not the point of this video, obviously, but 
it appears that Microsoft now <clears throat> is partnered with Linux and Ubuntu. So the reason why I'm, I'm posting this is for all of you who have said, get Ubuntu, Linux. I don't think there's any way to get out of this corporate tyranny now because it has its tentacles all over the place. And this um, Microsoft and Canocle, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but partnered to bring Ubuntu to Windows 10. I will link below to these articles. Ubuntu is now available for download on the Windows Store. Great, isn't it? And yes, Microsoft joins the Linux Foundation. And that was in 2016. So this video was posted two weeks ago. Microsoft will, I can almost guarantee, it will take over Linux. Money speaks. And all of these companies, I'm not saying that they didn't have good intentions, but when you have somebody walking into your office and they happen to be from a major corporation and they say, hey, we want to give you a half a million dollars. Hard to turn down. But for those individuals who have done a lot of work on themselves and gotten themselves to a level of consciousness where their life is now guided by principle and nothing else, and it does take a lot of work to get there, that's when they can turn it down. Very few people do that work. When you're guided by principle and you finally get there and you really then just kind of practice, you know, you keep your principles, it's right there in the forefront of your mind. You're conscious of them. You're aware of them. And you begin to feel the struggle of, oh, I want to do this, but it's not right. And you exercise doing what is right over wrong. You do eventually get to a place where you cannot go back. There's no going back. That's when principle is really guiding your life. That's when you can politely say to that person, thank you, but no thank you. I think we want to keep our company pure. So, Microsoft joins the Linux Foundation, and this apparently was announced at their, what was it, Building 16 conference in 2016. It is a high-paying Platinum member. Yes, the big fans of Linux Foundation. Sorry. Today's Microsoft is one of the biggest open source contributors around, and I know that it's not, and virtually everybody knows that it's not, but they put out these lies. These lies. So, it has essentially built Canocle's Ubuntu distribution into Windows 10. So it's got its influence in Ubuntu, it's got its influence in Linux, and it announced its partner, partnering with Canocle on the upcoming Ubuntu Linux operating system. So Microsoft, we all know, Microsoft does what it wants. Microsoft, while I'm sure we can't find direct evidence of this, but yes, Microsoft allows our government backdoors into its operating system. Do you think that they didn't build some backdoor into Ubuntu, into Linux? I don't know. Not my area. So, just wanted to let you guys know, and 
you might want to watch this video.